Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about what is a probability of an event. So when we say probability of an event, that is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So the formula, that is P of E, P of E, that is a probability of an event, equals N of E, that is the number of favorable outcomes, Divide by N of S, that is the total number of possible outcomes. So this will be the formula that we are going to use in order for us to answer such question with regards with probability of an event. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first set of example, we are going to find the total number of possible outcomes. On letter A, we have rolling a die. How many number of possible outcomes when we roll a die? So let us have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the total number of possible outcomes whenever we roll a die, that is 6. And letter B, tossing a coin, that will be head and tail. So the answer is 2. We have two outcomes. On letter C, rolling a die twice. So whenever we roll a die, that is 6. Since we are rolling the, a die twice, that is 6. Multiply by 6, that is 36. And this will be our answer. Letter D, tossing a coin three times. So if we are going to toss a coin, we are going to have two outcomes. Since we are tossing a coin three times, that is two times two times two, that is eight. Or we can have two raised to three, two raised to three, that is also eight. And this will be our answer. On example number two, in the Mega Lotto game 645, what is the probability that the first ball thrown out from the machine is... So letter A, we have a single digit ball. A single digit consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Therefore, the number of favorable outcome, that is 9. And the number of possible outcome is 45. So we have probability of an event, that is number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcome that is 9 over 45. Since 9 over 45 is divisible by 9, so we can write our answer as 1 over 5. So this will be the probability of getting a single digit ball. On letter B, we have divisible by 5. The numbers divisible by 5 consists of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45. So the number of favorable outcome, that is 9. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the number of possible outcome, that is 45. So the probability of an event is equal to the total number of favorable outcome over the total number of possible outcome, that is 9 over 45. And 9 over 45 can be written as 1 over 5. So this will be the probability of getting a number divisible by 5. What about letter C? Greater than 1. How many numbers between 1 and 45 is greater than 1? So the number of favorable outcome, that is 44. So the total number of possible outcome is 45. So we have probability of an event, that is number of favorable outcome over the total number of possible outcome, that is 44 over 45. And this will be our answer. What about letter D? We have two-digit ball. How many two-digit ball between 1 and 45? So that is the favorable outcome, which is 30. 
6 starting from 10 up to 45 and the number of possible outcome is 45 so the probability of an event equals number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcome that is 36 over 45 and 36 over 45 is divisible by 9 so we can write our answer as 4 over 5 and this will be our answer and then on letter E we have divisible by 10 that will be 10 20 30 and 40 so the total number of favorable outcome is 4 and the total number of possible outcome is 45 so we have the probability of an event equals number of favorable outcome divided by the total number of possible outcome that is 4 over 45 and this will be our answer on example number 3 a card is drawn from a deck of 52 cards. A deck of 52 cards consists of heart, diamond, spade, and flower. So what is the probability that the card is... So let's have A, an ace. So how many A's do we have in a 52 playing cards? So that will be 4. The number of favorable outcome is 4 and the number of possible outcome is 52 so we have the probability of an event that is number of favorable outcome divided by the total number of possible outcome that is 4 over 52 and 4 over 52 is divisible by 4 so we can write our answer that is 1 over 13 so 4 divided by 4 is 1 52 divided by 4 is 13 and this will be the answer on letter B, let's have a heart. So how many heart cards do we have in the deck of cards? So that will be 13. So the number of favorable outcome is 13 and the number of possible outcome is 52. So the probability of an event equals number of favorable outcome divided by the total number of possible outcome that is 13 over 52. So 13 and 52 is divisible by 13, so we can write our answer as 1 over 4. So this will be the answer. On letter C, we have a red card. So how many red cards do we have? So the number of red cards, that will be the number of favorable outcome, which is 26. Because a deck of cards consists of red and black, so that will be 26. And 26 and the number of possible outcomes that will be 52 so the probability of an event that is number of favorable outcome divided by the total number of possible outcome which is 26 over 52 or one half so this will be our answer next on letter D a face card so how many face card do we have so the number of face card or the number of favorable outcome that is 12. So this will be the number of possible outcome which is 52. So the probability of an event equals number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcome is 12 over 52. And 12 over 52, so 12 becomes 3 and 52 becomes 13. So this will be our answer. And then, letter E, that is ace and a red card. So how many ace cards do we have? So we have four ace cards. And then we have 26 red card. So let us determine the number of favorable outcome. So the number of favorable outcome is 28 because two of the ace card belongs to red. So we have total of 28 and the number of possible outcome which is 52 so we are going to have number of favorable outcome divided by the total number of possible outcome which is 28 over 52. So 28 over 52 that will be 7 over 
13 because 28 and 52 is divisible by 4. And this will be our answer. And then on letter F, so we have a king. So how many king do we have in a deck of cards? That is 4. And a red card, that is 26. So same with letter E. So the number of favorable outcome is 28 because 2 of the king cards belongs to red. So that is 28. And the number of possible outcome is 52. So that will be 28 over 52 or simply 7 over 13. So this will be our answer. On the last set of example, if a man would toss 3 coins, what is the chance that A. Face card are the same, letter B. There is at least one head, and letter C. Exactly one head. In order for us to find the probability of an event, let us determine first the number of possible outcomes. So we have here three coins are being tossed, that is 2 raised to 3, that is 8. So the total number of outcomes is 8. So the best way to answer this question is to illustrate the given problem. So we are going to have here head and tail on the first toss. And then on the second toss, we are going to have head, tail. And then the third toss, that is also head, tail, head, tail. So let's write head and tail. So let us determine the, num the number of outcomes and let us determine what are the outcomes. So we have here head, head, head. And then head, head, tail. So this one. And then the next one is head, tail, head. And then we have head, tail, tail. And then on the downside, we have tail, head, head. Then tail, head, tail. And then last two, we have tail, tail, head. And then last one is tail, tail, tail total of eight outcomes now so let us answer letter a so it says here all faces are the same so let us determine all faces in our outcomes so we have head 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 and tail 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 so therefore the number of favorable outcome is two and the total number of possible outcomes is 8. So the probability of an event, that is, number of favorable outcome divided by the total number of possible outcome, that is 2 over 8. And 2 over 8 can be written as 1 fourth. And this will be our answer. And then, on letter B, there is at least one head. So let us determine which of the following outcomes at least one head? So that will be head, head, head. So there is at least one head. Then head, head, tail. And then head, tail, head. And then head, tail, tail. And then we have tail, head, head. And then tail, head, tail. And then last, we have tail, tail, head. So the number of favorable outcomes is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 7. And the total number of outcomes is 8. So the probability of an event, that is number of favorable outcome divided by the total number of possible outcome is 7 over 8. And this will be our answer. And then on letter C, exactly one head so what are they so we have here head tail tail and then tail head tail and this one tail tail head so the number of favorable outcome is three and the number of possible outcome is eight so if we have the probability of an event that is three over eight and this will be our answer so I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.